In this video, we'll be making a mullen tincture using our percolators. First, we need distilled water, grain alcohol, a grinder, your herb, natural filters, the percolators that we made, a jar to put it in to catch the medicine, a funnel to pour, at least two measuring cups, one cup and a half cup, and a scale. We're using a leafy herb, so it should be fairly easy to grind, but we want to grind this mullen until it is the consistency of a powder. That's going to make sure that all the medicine is able to drip through evenly later on in our process. Store your extra in an airtight container. Now using our scale, we want to zero out the weight of the container that we have and then uh, decide on how much we want to fill in the percolator with. For these purposes, we're going to be using five grams of mullen herb. I've chosen to use grain alcohol to make this tincture with because it's easy to dilute and it stays fairly strong. So we're going to do a two to one ratio of distilled water to grain alcohol. Starting out with four ounces of grain alcohol, and then we will add eight ounces of distilled water. Feel free to use milliliters, whatever suits you best. In herbal medicine, we call the solvent the menstruum. So in this case, we need 50 milliliters because we're going to make a, a 1 to 10 tincture. First, you're going to pour a little bit of the menstruum over the herb to pre-wet it to make sure that you don't lose too much of the liquid once we fill it into the percolator. So just mix that up so that it's uh, slightly damp but not dripping. coffee filters you're going to fold it into quarters first and then you can fold it one more time if you have a small percolator if it's a large one you don't need to but you want to open up a space where the herb won't fall through you can make it wider if need be then you want to pre-wet your filter so that it doesn't absorb the uh, liquid that's going to be used for the medicine that way it doesn't take away from the total volume of what you calculated. Now fill the filter with the pre-wet herb and we're going to then pack it down. Pushing it down into the percolator. Pour the 50 milliliters of menstruum over the top. Adjust the cap so that it has a slow drip rate of about one drop every two seconds. Two to three seconds is good. Here you can see the drip rate of our percolator is roughly one drop every two to three seconds. Gonna speed it up so that you can see it fill much more quickly but this process could take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes depending on how well your percolator can stay tight and loosen once the drip rate slows down to about one drop every six seconds then you're pretty much done at least with the first go round, because you want to make sure that you can get as much medicine out of one percolation it's a good idea to do a second rinse we'll adjust our cap and then let it percolate again for the next 20 minutes or so Now that your tinctures have completed their percolation, grab your funnel and the bottle you want to put it in, a 
Unscrew the cap, letting out the rest of the medicine into your catch jar. You can pour that into a, a dropper bottle. This is a one ounce. Now you want to squeeze out the rest of the medicine from the filter and the herb until it's fairly dry. Careful not to rip the filter open. It will eventually tear open. And then you save those contents to do what's called a maceration tincture. But that's another video though. Congratulations, we now have at least one ounce bottle and a two ounce bottle of herbs. Thank you to the Makers Fair for sharing this video. Mutual Aid Disaster Week for inspiring this video. And a big thanks to Rain and Jackie for all the help that you've done. I'm Andrew Davis, owner of Holistic Massage Therapy. Find me on Facebook.